guys, today we are making air fryer roasted chicken and vegetables in our Ninja Foodie. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. Oh Lord, have mercy. I am Chris from RecipesThatCrock.com. I am Mikey from RecipesThatCrock.com. And a wee bit dramatic. It is Foodie Friday. A wee bit dramatic. You've been doing all the videos lately. I'm just happy to be back on camera. Well, you got to show up for the taping. You get suspended from work and all kinds of things happen. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, goodness. And hey, what are we making? I'm hungry. Today we are going to make a, a lunch for two or a dinner for two. Lovely lunch for two. Yes. You can do this in batches if you have more folks than two people to be cooking for. But today we're going to show you how to do it for two. We are making roasted chicken and vegetables in our in our ninja foodie using the air crisp feature this is a healthy healthy lunch or dinner yeah and well it kind of looks like lunch for one because it looks really good and i don't know if i'm going to share but what's it got what's it got <laughs> okay we are going to use a pound of chopped up chicken we have a uh, these are chicken tenders by the way we use the tenders when we do this you could use thighs you could use breast whatever you want to use yes and so but whatever you do you want it into bite-sized pieces so that it can cook up as quickly as the rest of that's off table sorry cook up as quickly as the rest of your vegetables then we have four ounces of fresh mushrooms uh and a half of a red bell pepper sliced and then one small zucchini sliced. If your zucchini is big, um, you could just use a half a zucchini. And we're going to toss this all in a bowl because we want to cover it in olive oil. Oh, I should have grabbed it. Or toss it in. This will work. I don't want to touch the chicken. Okay. We um, are going to. get my hands dirty. <laughs> we're going to toss it in olive oil to coat it. And then we're going to add our spices and. Um, uh, our salt and seasoning and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> our bowl is really, we really little. We really should have grabbed a bigger bowl. Yes. We as in me. So what, what we're going to do to begin with is we're going to use our olive oil. You want to use the olive oil first because you want everything coated before you add the seasonings. Otherwise, the seasonings might all like be stuck in one place. How much? So you're just going to want to coat it. So you're going to eyeball it based off of what you want to add and also what your diet uh, allows. We're going to just, uh, I'm going to just start with a little bit on top and let you start tossing it for me. And um, this is, this has a poor... <laughs> cap on it. I'm not just like guzzling the olive oil down on there. But, um, I want to make sure you get those yes. all separated out too. Yeah. Our, uh, like I said, our bowl is really, really little. We're winging a lot of things here lately, guys, because we're not really used to not having our RV with us, which it means... has most of our equipment in it. <laughs> yes. Oh, mushroom. Um, okay. So, uh, so we have smaller bowls and different things than we're used to cooking with, but hey, we're going to just make it work. You know why? Because we're going to have a lovely dinner for two. In fact, I'm going to nickname this the Lovebird Dinner. <laughs> Is that what you're calling it? Sure, why not? Okay, all right, I'm going to add just a little bit more, try and get that chicken separated a little bit. Gotta get it separated. Yeah, I've already got this cut up into small bite-sized pieces there. Yep. So in addition to uh, all of what we've got going on there, we're going to salt this to taste. Um, so I'm going to let you add some salt in there. Now realize that you've got a lot of chicken and vegetables and the salt will bring out the flavor there. Okay. Okay. Then to that, we are going to add a tablespoon of minced um minced garlic we like to use the freeze dried which is different than just dried garlic it's not as hard it rehydrates um and with all the when it cooks up that, especially on the zucchini yes and in this particular dish i love how air frying it kind of caramelizes it and kind of gives it that garlic like golden garlic chewiness to it and then we've got a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. If you don't have Italian seasoning or you don't want to, that doesn't look quite like a teaspoon. But You know why? 
Is it because it only, you know why? Is it only a half teaspoon? <laughs> I'm like, that doesn't look like that much. Um, anyhow, uh, if you don't have Italian seasoning, you could also do this uh, with poultry seasoning if you really wanted to. I just like the way that the uh, uh, Italian seasoning kind of brings out the flavors, particularly because we have the garlic. I thought that was not enough. I, I used the wrong spoon. It's okay. So, and you can adjust this to taste. So if you don't, if you're not really fond of your particular seasonings, you can use any kind of seasoning on this. Well, if you're not fond of your particular seasonings, why do you have them in your house? Yeah, you probably should use different ones. Yeah. Now we like we the one we use is Penzi's, and we really like their Italian herb mix. Mm-hmm. It's really. Oh. Yes, it has a really nice flavor to Still it. Got oregano on there. Um, you could also, in a pinch, use like a steak seasoning. You'd probably want to cut down on your salt if you were going to do that. You're you just coming at me, aren't you? Okay, so Speaking now, of assault. <laughs> now it is all uh, done, and we're going to pop it in here um, into your air fryer basket. It's going to fill it up a little bit, and so what we're going to do is we're going to set our air fryer on, um, we're going to set our air fryer. Sorry, I have to wash my hands. We're going to set our air fryer on 360 for 15, 15 minutes. We're going to stir halfway through to kind of make sure that the air is getting to go all over all the yummy vegetables and chicken in here. Okay, so we'll see you back in 15 minutes in three, two, one. We are back, y'all, and lunch is serving. I just want to say it's, something. It's not served yet. Oh, it will. You don't know, buddy. In my nose it is. <laughs> this kitchen, this whole house, I was in the other room in there promoting music, if you will. And the smell just just permeates the air. That garlic and that Italian seasoning smells so good. I'm gonna show you. Well, okay. Hang on, enjoy the ride. <laughs> Look at that. So oh, you can see we're starting to get roasted, but just to make sure, because there's a lot of food in there, we're gonna cook it just a little bit longer. And you can do that yourself after stirring. Uh, you can do it just like this or you can do what I'm going to show you here in a minute. I'm just disappointed because I really thought we were going to have lunch. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At this point in the dish you have three choices. One, you can eat the dish once it's fully cooked. If your chicken's fully done right now, you can have it as is or you can roast it just a bit longer like we're going to. You can uh, do that and then at the end, at the very end when you're serving it, sprinkle some fresh Parmesan over the top to give it that kind of salty, furthering those Italian seasoning flavors. Like that sounds really good, but while I was eating this my testing yesterday i kept thinking this would be so good with melted pepper jack cheese over the top you guys so what we're going to do is we're going to put four slices of pepper jack cheese evenly just kind of tear it up throw it down there oh ollie heard cheese he's in there going <laughs> i like cheese <laughs> Did you say cheese? Um, and we're just gonna melt this cheese over the top here. Okay, so I'll, I will be patient. <laughs> All right, so now you wanna do another two to three minutes, depending on, if you didn't see any raw chicken while you were stirring, you probably could get away with two minutes. If you saw some raw chicken, then I would definitely cook it for three minutes. So let's go, air crisp, 360. And we're gonna go two minutes because we didn't have raw chicken. It all depends on your unit um, and the size of your basket and all that jazz. So we will see you back here all that jazz. in two minutes. Or in your case, three, two, one. Ta-da! I'm a little closer. That's because I wanna show you right now what this looks like because oh my gosh, she's gonna mess it up with a spoon. Take a look at that, y'all. That looks so good. That cheese melted down into the veggies and chicken. And Chris has got to pull some out to take a picture real quick for the blog. 
Oh, that would have been a good oh, picture. That is a good, that's a good picture right there. Anyway, that's a good shot. Man, oh man, oh man. But you can see them peppers, and look how it's browned up those mushrooms that she just scooped up out of the shot. I hope I get those. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Y'all, I'm really looking forward to this lunch. Well, here, I'll give you a plate while I go take my pictures. I had to zoom out so you could see us. Oh, I covered your cheese. Oh no. I'll have to get more. There you go, buddy. Grab this up. Aw, she called me buddy. I would say this could make enough for two to three, depending on how big your oh, bell pepper and how big your uh, your zucchini is. However, um, that's completely up to you. I gotta go take a picture. Wait, so she's taking a don't picture. Don't eat it all while I'm gone. Oh, I don't know. Because that looks so good. Check this out. So we got cheese on the top, right? Just to really make it good. There's your chicken. I'll get a bite of chicken. There's a mushroom on there. Chris is in there knocking stuff over in the kitchen. Let me see if I can get some. There's some zucchini. And if I can stab that pepper right there. Get the perfect bite with everything going on in there. It smells so good. I know it's going to be hot. Because it's straight out of the foodie. Mm-hmm. Holy moly. Who says you can't eat healthy and it still tastes good? That is awesome. So, for 15 minutes that cooked, and then, of course, we cooked it for another two minutes just to get that cheese melted on there, there's... the All the veggies are soft, but there's still a little bit of chew, especially in those peppers, which is the way I love it. Those peppers give it a sweetness for sure. The texture with all the vegetables is just really, really, really good. That chicken is perfection. Mm. And of course, the cheese, it just takes it way over the top in flavor. I've fallen out of my face. Don't worry, I'll clean that up later, I promise. Y'all, That is so good. That is low carb good. That is chicken good. The garlic and the spices are amazing in this. I'm just gonna keep eating. I'm done talking to you guys because I wanna eat. But you know what? We should probably talk about something real quick. You know, like, if you like dishes like this, make sure that you're giving us a thumbs up down below. If you've not become a member of the Crock Posse, Make sure you click the subscribe button down below and become a welcome member of our crock posse where we're doing dishes like this all the time. If you want to know as soon as we put up a new video, make sure you click the ding-a-ling next to the subscribe button and that'll let YouTube know that you want to know whenever we put up a new video. And y'all, the most important thing here is to laugh often and speak life. She's over there taking pictures, y'all. See ya. Did you like my dancing? <laughs> Three, two, one. Three, two, one. You gotta snap with me. Oh my gosh! Three, two, one. Get over here so I can snap my fingers the correct way. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.